Today is Chuck Asher's last day at the firehouse. He is retired and fire station number one is hosting a coffee hour. As he found out when he tried to avoid having a coffee hour, this event isn't for him. It is for all of the retirees who come back to the station to spend an hour enjoying coffee and donuts and time with their former colleagues. Whether reliving past glories or perhaps just picking on each other. In addition to firefighters and city employees, the mayor and the fire chief were on hand to congratulate Chuck. State Representative Kate Siegel arrived to present Chuck with a tribute from the state of Michigan. I asked Chuck this morning because as happy today as he was the first day. He never really answered me, but, uh, <laughs> but this is a milestone in his life. So. But first of all, Chuck, I, uh, last night I got ready to go home and I was going to move the podium and I found these things taped all over it. Could you give me an explanation of what, what this, this artwork might be? I don't know if you can see it. I guess you can. It's a flat crab, which... It's an old story. I started as a dispatcher, and uh, Larry can tell you where's Larry. Yeah, occasionally I'm a little crabby. Jennifer can tell you too. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, I guess I was in a bad mood one night at the dispatch center and uh, night shift, and I came in the next night, and there was probably and I, I'm shocked that these things are. They must be like cockroaches. <laughs> and, uh, there was probably seven, eight hundred of these <laughs> just around my radio console. And it sort of took a life of its own and we had our own little flat crab infestation for years there. And I guess it surfaced again. Uh, Chuck, I think there's a special guest here. I don't know why Clary, like to introduce Chuck's wife, Clary, and so many other family members here that you may want to be kept from you. Yeah. Um, Where's John? My wife right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> John, 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 now you're here. John, John just as small as I am. Too. You know, this, this job's pretty hard in our family, so. <laughs> uh, my brother John, um, his wife Peggy. Grant and the newest Asher there is Reese. Oh, no. uh, so, oh, yeah. oh. Grant's the longest Asher. And the fastest. And the fastest. Thank you, Sean. Morning, everyone. Those crabs are working. It is really a pleasure for me to be here today. I have known Chuck for a while now, and when he was debating retirement, I couldn't believe it. Uh, but know how much he's looking forward to spending more time with his family. And we're going to keep him a little bit more active in the community that he has always been. Um, there is something very special about the men and women who choose to um, provide for the safety of our communities and for the rest of all of our families. And the sacrifice that your wife and family have made over the years, we appreciate that very much um, because it's something that helps us sleep better at night. So thank you for the work that you have done for our community, for our city, and for our families. And in recognition of the years of service that you have done, not only to our community, but also the state of Michigan, I have a special tribute for you signed by myself and Governor Grandma to say thank you for all of your service and the work that you've done. station four about a year ago 
uh, and give him a new probationary guy. And uh, so we stay in close contact with the officer. And I found myself calling up saying, hey, Chuck, will you do this? Yep, I'll take care of it. <laughs> yep, I'll take care of it. Well, that's been, that's been the way Chuck's been his whole career, whether it was muscular dystrophy or things that were always over and above or whether it was job. His job was just, yep, I'll take care of it, you know. And I didn't realize until the last couple of days reflected on it that once he, I took, asked him to do it, you told him, yep, I'll take care of it. You just knew it was done and you just totally forgot about it. Okay, there's, I, I, I can take that off my list. Uh, Chuck came to me a couple months ago and said, well, I'm thinking about retiring. Okay. Do you have a date? Well, I'm not sure. So they come in and say, well, I'm going to be ret retiring on June the 5th. He says, uh, Chad Hughes is off probation on the 3rd, and they'll be retiring on the 5th. And that's that's what Chuck always did. Everything had to be finished. He finished he finished what he was doing. Last night I'm going through my mail. There's a final probation report in there. All the detail, the driving record, everything. You know? All of our homework's done for us. Chuck's going to be gone, and all we got to do is it's just move forward. You have done for the city, the community, and me personally. And congratulations, and I hope you enjoy your retirement. <laughs> and your your plaque from the department with your lieutenant's badge. <laughs> And there's a car in there, Chuck, but I can guarantee you, there, you don't need to get that one clear. <laughs> Five thirty in the morning, making coffee. Then by seven o'clock, nobody wanted to drink. <laughs> I put the spoon in there and it stood up. <laughs> if Asher made it, I knew I wasn't going to drink. But you know what, Chuck? There's one other thing in, that I you just have to kind of reflect on. Uh, another thing I reflected on is, you know, I never had to think about what station you worked at. Because wherever you work, the air dimes wore out. <laughs> we bought eight air dimes, those Sheep Owens bought them, about, I think about 1996. And the only person that never wore one out was Chuck Asher. Every station he went to, he'd call me and say, Chief, uh, the air dime needs some repair. <laughs> okay, Chuck, get it. And there again, I'd say, okay, handle it. And that was the last I ever heard of it. He'd handle it, he'd get it down, get it repaired, then he'd ride it until it was wore out again. But, uh, Chuck was. He decided to do something. He always did everything he did 100%. And again, Chuck, thank you. Congratulations. We're on our